I have no issue telling you right off the bat that this is my favorite album of 2021. What these guys have pulled off is amazing. Brilliantly brutal with powerful death vocals and a lovely mix of many other instruments like the trombone, saxophone, violin, theremin. You can read the full list on the album's Bandcamp page, I can't remember them all. I don't even think I can pronounce them all really. The album starts off gently with the soft violet light being a short track easing us into the metal that comes after in An Orphaned City, which begins immediately with excellent melodic guitar work and brutal death vocals. The song introduces new concepts and styles as it progresses, giving the listener a good indication of what's in store for the remainder of the album. After that, On Wings of Providence picks up where the prior song left off, featuring some truly excellent drumming and variations and vocal style, delivering crushing blows between bouts of technical guitar work. The song continues in this vein for 7 minutes, yet has enough work put into it that it doesn't get boring. After that, my favourite track of the album, Amorosa's Shroud comes in with a deceptively soothing intro, featuring soft guitar work and a beautiful saxophone piece for dropping the hammer with beautifully crushing death metal, really showing off their chops as they bring in a healthy dose of guitar solos, rolling drums, and all the other good stuff in a gloriously heaping dose of metal that would give any self-respecting bard a raging erection. Wayfarer comes after, an instrumental piece that combines melodic and symphonic elements with a balanced dose of metal, offering a lighter piece than previous tracks, but still making use of those lovely distortion pedals and whatnot. Those looking for brutality will find it in the next song, which has what is probably my most favourite riff in the album. Mechanisms of Loneliness progresses in such a way that it almost feels like a mini-album by itself, with the structure changing as the song goes on without changing so much as to feel like a different track. The next two tracks deliver different feelings despite being conceptually linked. Mountains, part one, to ascend, has fast guitars, plenty of solos, and it is overall very fast and hard hitting, before petering off into Mountains, part two, empathy, where the first three minutes feel like a mix between the first track and a straight up jazz number, ending on another descent into metal. The second to last track, Caught in the Azure Cradle, has more of a core feel to it invoking feelings of metalcore bands of yore, while still remaining consistent with the album's overall style. The last track lasts for a full 12 minutes, and is an adventure all on its own. Starting off gently, the song adds and switches instruments and feelings as it goes, making full use of the band's repertoire to cap off an already amazing album almost like a summary of the entire album contained within the closing track. A very worthy finish to an amazing concept album. In any case, the music is masterfully done with a consistent and balanced mixing, with all the rush of death metal and the artisanship of an orchestral piece. The drumming hits hard and fast, the guitars practically carry the listener rhythm, and the band clearly knows how to balance all this with moments of beauty in strings, saxophone, balancing the soft and grating grind, to form an album that I highly recommend giving a listen to if you're one for any kind of death metal. <laughs>